Hi everyone, today I will introduce to you some tools in this iPad that we can learn English from. And this iPad is from Apple, the ninth generation from Apple. From now, Apple has till the 11th generation already, but we just bought the ninth generation. So in this iPad, there are basically lots of tools, useful tools for us to learn English as well. And it's very useful for me when I go anywhere and I could just read books, listen to podcasts and watch the news right from here. And there are a lot of apps that maybe in Samsung or other type of iPads which don't have, but only Apple have, which is in here. There are some apps which Apple has, which is the podcast, the books reading tool, TV for watching movies, like kind of like Netflix, but there aren't any money. We just watch it for free. And also an app for reading the news too. For example, in New York Times, New York Times is also a kind of news, right? And sometimes we have to pay money to read New York Times, but in the news, we can just read them freely. So now let's discover those. For example, podcasts, we're just going to press here. And there are lots of types of podcasts for us to listen to. For example, I usually listen to The Happiness of Silence, maybe. And you can just open it and it will freely turn on and you can listen to the podcast very well. So that's how I usually listen to podcasts through this iPad before I go to sleep. Now the Wi-Fi is a little bit lagging, so it hasn't worked yet. For example, when you buy a Samsung iPad, maybe. So in this iPad, there aren't any I'm apps. Adding like more meetings, books. right? More everything. <laughs> Yeah, you see, it is having the podcast for you. And you can just open any episode you like to listen to podcasts before going to sleep or anywhere. So normally at home, I would just open this and listen while doing the housework or other things. We found ourselves at the end of our rope. This there are lots of useful podcasts for you to listen to, both in English and in Vietnamese, on any topics. You can easily search, for example, I want to listen about a National Geographic, maybe. So I would just search National Geographic, and there are lots of podcast shows for me here. Like, normally, I like I love listen to National Geographic Into the Depth. So this is what I usually listen to at night. I will open one episode for you to see why I love listening to this. So this is Into the Depths. It was three years ago when my life Into the Depths right after the break. Yeah, like the voice is actually pretty good. I love this woman's voice. She has a wonderful voice. So National Geographic Into the Depth is what I usually listen to. This is our first app, which is called Podcast. Now let's move on to another one, which is Books Tool. This is a type of reading tool, and currently, as you can see here, I'm reading The Happy Prince and Other Tales. This is the book that I'm currently reading right now, and it's so convenient. Just bring it anywhere, and you can read any book you like through here. So I will show you some books that you can read. In here, there are two books which I'm currently reading right now. There are lots of books for you. If I if I press in here, there will be some general fictions, some poems, or some short stories. And besides, you can even search for some books for kids. For example, you search books for teenagers or for kids. And there will be some books for you to read as well. In case you don't like one of those books here. So there are lots of books for teenagers, like The Tale of Peter Rabbit. All the school queens or sword or devon boys maggie a girl of the streets so currently right now i am reading another book for example i press into the tail of rabbit and all you need to do is to press in this button you want this right here and press in this button also and ta-da! you can easily read this just wait for a few moments 
and you're pressing the button read and finally you can read this book the tale of peter rabbit i think this book is for kids yeah so i think in this book there are adults book teenagers book and little kids book if you are a beginner and want to read books too so this is a very interesting way for you to read books also next is the news here is where i usually read the news from for example you want to read about uh u.s politics so press in here no stories maybe about fashion to see if there's anything about food or fashion or today's news in today's news here's what i usually read the news from for example 30 minutes ago, we have U.S. Downs Chinese by balloon, resulting in a tense exchange between the two nations. And you press right in here. Normally, if I read from NBC News on Google, it will show a thing on here that I need to pay money or like I have to pay money monthly or yearly. But in here, surprisingly, I can just read the news for free without having doing to pay anything so no payment at all that is why i love apple ipad because in apple they have their own apps in other I ipad they won't have these apps you know so it's actually pretty cool yeah i can easily read news from here without any payment so those are the history the news that i have read before for example, new scientists, I did remember that I searched new scientists on Google to read and they told me I have to pay for this. But now, reading through this iPad, I don't need to pay literally anything. So those are the special tool that I usually learn English from. Besides, you can just download anything from here and there are many typing tools. In this iPad, there are a lot of typing tools for you. Sadly, an iPad, you cannot use Word. Like right now, I'm learning this currently. So sadly, in iPad, you cannot use Word. But luckily, there are some typing tools for you to use besides Word or PowerPoint. That's all I want to show you since those are the four main tools I use to listen to English or read books every day since I don't have those kind of books at home. Bye, I'll see you in another video.